Hey guys, welcome back. I'm fixing to jump off this and die and see what happens. Whoops! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thanks. <laughs> we did it. This starts back over again. For life. She's been waiting. All right. That's so her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Want to answer to it? To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I can do it. I can do this. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh. oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh, come on. That was... That was mean. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh. Pushing every button other. Let me let me out of here. Okay, so seven. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. I don't want to watch TV. No, 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 stop making me. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. Oh. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Okay. Spend time with the boys. Let's press H. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Where was the part that I die? As he huh. wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Tell my kid a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I, I love you, baby. But there Ooh, is no answer. You go? Okay, she's How gone. How can there possibly be? That's good. In Ooh. reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. 
that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh, yeah, I have to. <laughs> Fine! You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? To question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe this and time. And I tried again. Please don't. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. A dot! Oh no, it starts over. Oh. Well. <laughs> All of this uh, on to gone. other choices, what I guess. Ah. Stanley decided, I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. All right. <clears throat> Back at the choice when of the doors. Stanley came to a set of Unplug the phone doors, and watch the video and everything. He entered the door on his left. So, now we can go to the door on the left. Let's go back. And let's see what's on the door on the left. Let's see what happens. I wonder if it actually continues like the normal story. Or if it's gonna like do something. Weird. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh. Let a bob inside of you, take it out passively aggressively on other coworkers, resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Aha. Everything is okay. <laughs> Alright. Room closet. Me in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's over here. Locked. Locked. Secretary's desk. I guess it is continuing. Stepping inside his manager's story. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. There's a panda with a gun to his head over here. <laughs> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver, right there on the wall. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. 
The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You, you told me to come this way. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley oh, would. No. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, no, I was supposed to go this way anyway. Is it going to make me do it again? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> okay, when Stanley right came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, let's go to the right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Okay. Is it going to go through the same ending that the other one did a while ago? Where it breaks the game? Oh, yeah. it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Yeah, it looks like it's going to do the same meaning we've seen already. So... I have... One more thing that I want to try... With that path before I go... Or actually, a few things I want to try. I'm here. So. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Right. So we already seen all who this. thought you were so clever. Now look so, where we are. I'll see you My guys game is destroyed. next time in the next the video. We'll the go play some more Stanley Parable. We'll, we'll see the what ground. the rest what? Did you think that would be of funny? things that will happen. You just had to see. So, Didn't I impress I'll see you guys next time. To like Stay Stanley. toasty, my friends. When Stanley came to oh, a set of two this is different. Doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this, Danny? Are you there? Uh, okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. I'm glad I didn't stop recording that. Well, anyway, we'll see you guys next time for real. Stay, stay toasty, my friends.